Uh, peace, love, light, and healing to my brothers and sisters in the faith. Um, on this blessed Monday, the Father has given us through His only begotten Son, Christ our Messiah. Um, I just want to say a few words really quick to my brothers and sisters and uh, the halfway believers, carnally minded, one foot in, one foot out. You know, this is applies to all of us. And I just want to just say this from my heart. You know, um, it's really important that we understand this thing I'm about to get ready to say because I've realized this and it's really... Um, it's really serious. Um, one, the, this is, this is, Lord, man, I'm sorry. I'm out of breath. Just got done walking. Whew. Whew. But Lord, however, we cannot keep telling people to trust in God and oh, trust in the Lord or put your faith in the father or how, how do you put your faith in something that you do not know? How do you trust in something you do not know? This is why I encourage that we pick up the Bible and read. Let's give attendance to the reading of the doctrine. You know, we perish because of the lack of knowledge, first of all. And I'm just, I'm just trying to encourage my brothers and sisters in the faith to understand this. We can't tell random people to trust in the Lord and believe in the Lord when they don't know him. You can't trust in something you don't know. You know, people go through things in life. We need to encourage each other to let's fellowship in the spirit. Let's come together in this word and truth. And, and fellowship together. Let's get to know God. Let's confess our sins one to another. You know what I mean? And um, I'm making it really clear in my heart because, you know, I see a lot of it going on and I keep on asking myself, why is people, we, why we, why we go through so many things in life? Because we don't know the father as for one, we don't know him, but anything, but, for, but most importantly, we got to stop telling each other to trust in the Lord with all trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, follow God. You know, you can't follow God and trust in the Lord if you don't know him. How you trusting in somebody you don't know? How you trusting in something you don't believe and understand? You know, can't tell a person that don't read the Bible, a person that don't know God, to trust in the Lord. You just can't. You can't tell them to trust in the Lord if they don't know God. You know, and that's just the bottom line. You don't freaking know God. You can't tell somebody to pick up the to trust in the Lord and you don't know. Him. You don't know. Him. You can't tell them to trust in the Lord. You know, trust in, trust in the Lord comes from understanding. We must pick up the Bible and read. We must give God time in order to understand and know the benefits of, of, of his love, you know, to get to know him. What displeases him? What doesn't make him happy? What makes him happy? We got to give God time by picking up the word of God and reading the word of God. You know, this is on my heart to speak and say this because we I see a lot of it. You know, I see people living in sin in the flesh, doing whatever they want to do, doing as thou wilt. But when they fall on their face, you want to tell them to trust in the Lord. Oh, man, go trust in God. How? 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 <laughs> How? I just want to make that clear. You cannot. We cannot trust in the father if we don't know him. You don't know. We don't know the goodness of him. How can we trust in him? We don't know what makes him upset. How can we trust in him? How do we know how to move? You know, and I just want to put that out there, man. This is for all of us. I'm humble in the spirit. I pray that you continue to be humble in the spirit, that we all stay humble in the fruits of the spirit and continue to focus on the Lord and trust in the Lord with our hearts. Trust in the Lord. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, for it shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Believe that. But we must read the word of God in order to know this. He ain't speaking to us out of the air and you don't have to go to church to get this. Pick up the Bible right there. KJV, I, I encourage and I encourage anybody that want to read the word of God, that want to get to know God to read the book of Matthew. Pray, repent, get your knees, ask God to open your eyes and enlighten your heart and mind to accept this word of God in truth and read the book of Matthew about our Savior so that we can have some understanding in here, you know. But we got to stop telling people to trust in the Lord that don't know God, that ain't brothers and sisters in the body. You know, we want right, that's encouraging. It sound good to tell them that. But if they not spending time with the Lord, they don't have a relationship. They don't know God. So therefore, therefore, you can't be trusted in something you don't know. You can't. Peace, love, light and healing. Love.